I've never been the one to raise my hand. That was not me. And now that's who I am because of you. I am standing tall. My heart is full of endless gratitude. You were the one, the one to guide me through. Now I. Is all I need to know. I've learned to love myself in spite of me, and I've learned to walk the road that I believe. But the only question with me now is, do I make you proud? Stronger now. So we talked all night about the rest of our lives Where we're gonna be when we turn 25 I keep thinking times will never change Keep on thinking things will always be the same But when we leave this year we won't be coming back No more hanging out cause we're on a different track And if you got something that you need to say You better say it right now cause you don't have another day Cause we're moving on and we can't slow down These memories are playing like a film without sound As we go on, we remember 
mistakes we've made I don't want to let go After everything that we have learned It's our time now, it's our turn If I hold on to the memories that you sent to guide me Will you be right here beside me? If I hold on to the memories and use them to guide me, will you be right here beside me? Everything I know is behind me. I'm starting a new life. I just don't want I can remember when you fit in the palm of my hand you felt so good in it no bigger than a minute how it amazes me you're changing with every blink faster than a flower blooms they grow up all too soon so let them Cause they're only that way for a while Give them hope, give them praise, give them love every day Let them cry, let them giggle, let them sleep in the middle Oh, but let them I never felt so much in one little tender touch. I live for those kisses, your prayers and your wishes. And now you're teaching me how only a child can see. Tonight, while we're on our knees, all I ask is please. Cause they're only that way for a while Give them hope, give them praise, give them love every day Let them cry, let them giggle, let them sleep in the middle Oh Let them
Bridges are burning an accusation. Funny how time is the great revelation.
Until your heart stops kick drum beating When it's hard times, when it's long days And the enemy is right up in your face When your back's against the ropes And you're feeling all alone Keep fighting the good Step, giving you the next breath. I'll be the voice saying you're gonna make it when you're out there on your own. You are never alone. Keep fighting the good Keep fight. Keep letting your light shine. Cause I'm never gonna leave you. Always gonna see you through to the other side. Keep fighting the good. Fighting the good. Fighting the good. Well, I wish I had a short-term memory. Wish the only thing my eyes could see was the future burning bright right in front of me. But I can't stop looking back. Yeah, I wish I was a perfect picture of somebody who's never not good enough. Well, I try to measure up, but I mess it up. And I wish I wasn't like that. I wish I wasn't wishing anymore. Wish I could remember that my body's keeping score. I'm tired of throwing pennies in a well. I gotta do something. Here goes nothing. It's day one of the rest of my life. It's day one of the best of my life. I'm marching on to the beat of a brand new drum. Yeah, here I come. The future has begun. Day one. Well, every single day your grace reminds not behind me wherever my yesterday may find me well i don't have to stay there no see my hourglass is upside down and my someday soon is here and now the clock is ticking and i'm so sick and tired of missing out i wish i wasn't wishing anymore wish i could remember that nobody's keeping score i'm tired of throwing pennies in a well Yeah, he rocks. 
please remain standing. The BVHS class of 2018 asks you to help us honor our nation, those that protect us and keep those that have died trying to keep us safe. Today, we remember particularly those BVHS graduates currently serving our country, those and the, the members of our class that are standing on stage who will leave us soon to begin their service. The colors today are presented by members of VFW Post 4726. You are invited to join members of the BVHS Chamber Choir as they lead us in our national anthem. Singing the anthem today will be members of the, signing the anthem today will be members of the American Sign Language class. Please remain standing until the colors have been posted. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Would the graduates please be seated? Hello, my name is Mackenzie Holcalter, and joining me today on stage is Bethany Melsom. We are honored to represent this great class. Family members and friends, thank you for coming today to celebrate the culmination of our high school years. On behalf of our classmates, we would like to officially welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the BVHS class of 2018. Many members of our class are wearing white ribbons today in remembrance of parents, siblings, grandparents, other relatives, friends, and classmates who have died. Though they are not physically here today, their spirits will live in our hearts. We believe that we honor the memory of those that are not with us today by celebrating life. And so today's graduation will continue BVHS's tradition of having a fun commencement. We would like to take some time to recognize the guests of the class of 2018 that will share the stage today. The Brandon Valley School members represent the communities that make up this school district. The support of these communities has given us the opportunity to receive an outstanding education, and for that we are thankful. Please join us in welcoming Board President Renee Olam, Vice President Greg Odie, members Sandy Klatt, Ellie Saxer, and Carrie Schrader. Also on stage are representatives of the Brandon Valley School District staff. The staff of the school district has left their mark on this class in so many ways, and we feel blessed to have them a part of our lives. We have had so many great teachers throughout our years at Brandon Valley. It takes so many people to make a school district run well. We have been transported on buses, fed each day, had our injuries tended to, and had our messes cleaned up after us. We want to honor the work of all of the staff of our district.
Today we are joined by Superintendent Dr. Jared Larson, Principal Dr. Greg Telcott, Associate Principal Mark Schleckway, and School Counselors Lara Likeness and Michelle Stemwedel. Seated next to the graduates are some of the teachers and staff members of Brandon Valley District, School District. We ask at this time if you have taught any of us at any grade level, preschool through high school, including Sunday school, that you would stand and be recognized. It is tradition of Brandon Valley High School to have students speak at graduation. Our first speaker is Kelsey Frost. During her years at BVHS, Kelsey participated in cross country, oral and terp, and theater. She is a member of the National Honor Society, is a Regent Scholar, and a recipient of the Presidential Award of Academic Excellence, and a Highest Honor graduate. Kelsey will be attending the University of South Dakota next fall to study business. Kelsey is the daughter of Mike and Stacy Frost. Classmates and guests, Kelsey Frost. Thank you, Dr. Talcott, the graduation speaker committee, members of faculty and administration, fellow graduates, family, and friends, for giving me this wonderful opportunity to speak before you today at graduation. I would like to take a moment to transport you to our local park, McCarty Park. Envision green grass, children running wild, and a small baseball field. But what makes this park special to me it's a gigantuous hill that is perfect for sledding in the winter and some grueling cross-country workouts. As a cross-country athlete myself, I have often found myself at the bottom of this hill wondering how I could possibly get up it. This hill has taught me important lessons on hard work and teamwork. And it is here during one of our infamous home cross-country meets that my story takes place. I'm pumping my arms and my breath is coming out shallow and fast. My legs feel like lead and every bit of me is begging to give up and stop. As I run up the hill, the words of a little engine that could come to mind. I think I can, I think I can. With these words pushing me along, I soon reach the top of the hill, the finish line just in sight. As I run down, my family, friends, and teammates cheer me on to success. Lottie Piper's book, The Little Engine That Could, has always been a personal favorite of mine. From the beginnings of my time in cross country, my favorite engine's words became my mantra. The story's plot revolves around a tiny engine who doesn't believe she can succeed in bringing the toys over the mountain to the children in the village below. As she sits there, many strong, shiny male trains pass by, and soon the toys start to wish that they were on the strong train rather than the wimpy one. It is not until she starts to believe she can that the toys cheer her on to victory. Although this could be considered just another story from my childhood, it is also a complete representation of graduation. Now I know you're probably wondering, what could I possibly have in common with a fictional steam engine? But as we go throughout the graduation ceremony and step into the next part of our lives, I think you'll find that you have more in common with this tiny engine than you could ever imagine. A locomotive cannot move forward without tracks beneath its wheels. In the world of a soon-to-be high school graduate, these tracks beneath our wheels is our education. Each and every one of us has a different story to tell. And whether you're friends with everyone in this room or even know everyone in this room, the class of 2018 is united by one thing, our education. Each of us has put in the hard work and defied senioritis so that we could be here one last time in this place. And although high school may not be a literal hill like Mount McCarty, it was still a hill that had many obstacles that we had to get through. Our hard work is what allowed us to push past these barriers so that we can be here together. 
And although at many moments as a class, we collectively wondered when we were ever gonna use that English lesson or biology in real life settings, it is still the base of our future lives. You see, you cannot do any action without first learning how. You cannot run, you cannot walk, you cannot sing without first learning the basic principles. The same can be said of our future endeavors. Whether you go off to college or serve in our military, or go off to the workforce. You must first learn the basic principles so that you can be successful. Our teachers and staff here at Brandon Valley have given us the basic principles that we need so that we know how to study and learn new material so that we can truly be successful in whatever we put our mind to. Even with tracks beneath its wheels, a locomotive cannot move forward without its engine. To me, the engine that keeps the class of 2018 moving forward and success is our friends and family. We have lived a lot of life in the past four years. Our class has witnessed times of inexpressible joy and moments of incomprehensible sorrow. Thankfully, we have been fortunate enough to either celebrate or heal from these moments with the help of our family and friends. I would like you to take a look around the people about you. Think about the people that have been steadfast in your life. The people who have cried with you when you were sad the people who hugged you in times of joy, and the ones you have way too many photos with on your phone. I'm sure you can find at least one of these people in the class of 2018. As a class, we have conquered high school and all the trials that come from those moments of our lives. We used teamwork and stood by each other through the highs and lows of high school for the chance to stand next to each other one last time at this ceremony. As we move forward into the future, it is a wonderful thing to make new friends. But never forget those people that made high school special. With tracks beneath our wheels and friends and family running our engine, I think we're ready for the next step. As seniors in high school, many chapters of our life came to a close. Like the little engine finally delivered the toys over the hill, we are on the downhill slope of high school. But that does not mean that there will not be more mountains to come. Whether that comes in the form of college grades, financial struggles, relationship trials, or health issues. But I know as long as we take things one step at a time and remember the lessons of teamwork and hard work from high school, I know that we can conquer any mountain. I think Annie said it best when she sang, the sun will come out tomorrow. So with these tracks beneath our wheels, friends and family running our engine, I think we can I think we can, no matter what the class of 2018 encounters next. Thank you. Brandon Valley High School has a reputation for excellence in the classroom, on the field, court, track, and stage. Today, we will hear from two of our musical ensembles. First, the highly decorated BVHS Symphonic Band, under the direction of Mr. Bob Carlson, performs Song of Lindsay by Andrew Boysen.
Our second speaker is Thomas Redford. During his years at BVHS, Thomas participated in cross country, the BVHS chapter of Math Honor Society Mu Alpha Theta, and tutoring. Thomas is a Regent Scholar and a recipient of the Presidential Award of Academic Excellence, a highest honor graduate, and a National Merit Scholarship finalist. He will be attending Arizona State University to study mathematics. Thomas is the son of Stephen and Susan Redford. Classmates and guests, Thomas Redford. We did good. I don't think there's a more fitting way to describe our class. I like saying we did good because it's simple, but also quite accurate. Also, it upsets all the English aficionados, which <laughs> it's a plus. The phrase is quite broad, which I think fits perfectly with our class. We have achieved in almost every manner imaginable, which is just incredible, to say the least. From standardized tests to dual enrollment classes, the class of 2018 has set the bar to a new high in terms of academics. We have also exhibited some incredible talent in the world of the arts, from the spectacular performances in the theater to the wonderful artwork we have produced. Our athletes have also set numerous records and won many state and conference championships. The diverse amount of talent and interest that our class holds makes us who we are. Honestly, I'd rather be a part of a class that did everything average than one that did one specific thing really well. And we managed to do a pretty amazing job at everything. We didn't get here alone, though. And it is imperative that we don't forget that or take it for granted. I would first like to thank a group of people not often considered at graduation, the underclassmen. This year, I have interacted with and become friends with more underclassmen than ever before. For one, I seem to have gathered a bit of a cult following among some of the cross-country runners, which I think is a good thing. I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, the support that they give us is awesome, and I can't thank them enough. And I hope that they can be as good, if not better, than us when they graduate. Of course, the teachers and administration deserve an inordinate amount of thanks. I can confidently say that there isn't a single teacher at this school that is a bad person. They are incredible people. They care so much. I'm sure we've all, uh, I'm sure most of us had been upset with a teacher at some point. I've lived with one my entire life named my mom and she always feels the need to ask me if I have my homework done even though I've never, I've had about three late assignments my entire life. I hope that there will be something in my life that I can devote half as much effort to as they put into a group of complete strangers that are a bunch of dummies. Finally, but certainly not least, are the parents. They've been with us our entire lives. My parents probably wanted to abandon me when I pulled the fire alarm at Devil's Tower, but <laughs> They decided to stick with me. Hopefully, they aren't too upset with their decision. Our parents put more time into our lives than I could ever imagine donating to number, another person. Their devotion is more noble than any charity, invention, or creative work. Thanks cannot be given enough to these people. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Expressing gratitude and recognizing how we've got to where we are is an important step in maturing. Learning how to learn and work are essential skills that we all need going forward. Hope, hopefully all of us aren't as smart as we will ever be. I hope that in 10 years we will all look back at ourselves now and think, wow, I was an idiot. I didn't know anything. Because that means we've become that much smarter. Whichever path you take, you will, become, you will learn and become a stronger person. You all are smart already. Everyone here is on the path of becoming a successful adult, which can make this world a better place. I have complete faith in each and every one here. 
going forward, many of us will never see, say a word to each other again. Many of us will never even see each other again, which is a scary thought. It's a sobering idea that some, these people, some of which I've known for 10 plus years, will never be a part of my life again. But I can take comfort in the fact that we are all in this together. We will all be taking a larger step than ever before, going to places far from home. And we will not have forgotten each other. Each of us will have left an imprint on each other that will help us move onward. I won't forget the time when it took us 20 hours to roast a marshmallow in physics, or how we dis discussed the best way to dispose of a body with acid in chemistry. Even if we aren't physically with each other, we are all going forward together. I generally don't think it is good to be proud for pride's sake. I don't think we should be proud of something because we were told to or because we were taught to. Instead, it is important to carefully consider what in our lives is worth being proud of. What aspects of our lives deserve merit and appreciation above anything else? It sounds like a hard question to answer. Nevertheless, it is easy for me to say that I am proud of my friends, my parents, and my teachers. And above all, I am proud to be a Brandon Valley graduate. Also, I'm proud to be graduating among some of the most talented and, incre and incredible people I will ever meet. This school is the best school anyone could hope for. Simply put, we did well. <laughs> I'd like to take some time to okay. one second. <laughs> Next, we have the opportunity to hear senior <laughs> members of the concert and Lynx Choir perform Rise Up by Mac Huff. Leading the senior choir members in one last performance is their director, Terry Gullickson. Rise up. 
Our final speaker is Kiana Thielen. During her years at BVHS, Kiana participated in soccer, theater, HOSA, and Best Buddies. She is a member of the National Honor Society, is a Regent Scholar, and a recipient of the Presidential Award of Academic Excellence, and a Highest Honor Graduate. Kiana will be attending the University of South Dakota next fall to study chemistry. Kiana is the daughter of Kevin and Lee Thielen. Classmates and guests, Kiana Thielen. May 20th, 2018, a day of looking back. All the way back to those wonderful middle school years, you know, the pictures you made sure to never show anyone. Yeah, those years. Remember the time when we were taking our class tour in this very high school, and everyone was so nervous because they kept getting confused where to go, and no one could seem to find the pool we kept hearing about from the upperclassmen. Well, here we stood, a group of 30 or so eighth graders, wide-eyed and fearful of the massive halls, which are actually tiny, intimidating upperclassmen, which are now us, and challenging classes. Yeah, nothing's changed there. And the unknown chapter of our lives that lies ahead of them. But really, no one could have known the changes that we've made during the adventure to come. I mean, think about it. We were here before SRP was a thing, before Best Buddies was a thing, and before Mr. Schluckaway with hair was a thing. <laughs> Sorry. In four short years, the school has changed so much and changed all of us with it. These journeys are not ones that could ever be recreated, but only be, can be remembered through old memories, laughing with our friends when we see them at reunions. We will talk of adventure, such as that lip dub we created freshman year, boys eating fish at class Olympics during homecoming week, and the hysteria of moving prom. Oh, too soon? <sighs> so, each one of us has learned something about ourselves on our journey. So when tasked with the job to write a speech for graduation, I didn't know where to start, what to do, or how to go about it. I didn't feel that 
what I had to say would be something the students could relate to. I mean, how is one individual supposed to write a speech that can get across what the entire class of 2018 thinks should be said? So then I figured, why don't I just ask them what they want to say instead? I sent out a survey to the class of 2018 of what they believe should be said at class graduation because this graduation is about everyone and this speech is about everyone. So here is what the class of 2018 would like to say. The Lynx way is the only way. <laughs> don't hold grudges against people that you're graduating with. You don't know when you will see them next and it may be the last time you ever see them. Forgive and move on from whatever happened. Live your life the way you want to and let people live theirs. Continue to support each other and never let the circumstances determine your attitude towards others. The tassel is worth the hassle. Your education is a dress rehearsal for the life that is yours to lead. There is a beginning and an end to anything worth doing. Don't let the end of something great like high school prevent you from doing something great in the future when there are so many possibilities out there to explore. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Stay true to yourself in college. I would like to congratulate us because of all of our diverse accomplishments. Each of us has pursued their own goals and interests, which I think is amazing. Our achievement has set us up as a unique group. Go far in life and remember where you came from. Set your dreams high and aim to leave your mark on history. Trust me, you learn a lot about yourself along the way. I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you left them. Andy Bernard, The Office. I'm happy for them, wherever life takes them. Also, I'm happy that I got to graduate with such amazing people in my class. Keep in contact, even with our technology, we struggle to stay communicated. Eighth grade dodgeball tournament where we all sang sexy and I know it, best thing ever. We are at the age where we like kind of need to get a serious email account. Thank you for all the very memorable years of school. We all endured this pain together and now we must depart and take the pain of the real world separately. <laughs> I said this at the retreat. The four most common elements in all living things are this very universe are nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Therefore, your significance on this universe are as significant as the beautiful, ever-expanding universe itself, meaning you are beautiful in all of infinite possibilities. Focus on your grades and don't slack off. It could easily cost you your graduation. Don't forget to brush your teeth. In high school, being different makes you an outcast, but when you get to the real world, your differences make you unique and can take you places you never thought you could go. Hold on to these differences, which makes you who you are. Go find yourself. It is impossible to live without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. J.K. Rowling. Good luck. Yeah. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Never waste a moment of life. Dreams don't come true if you just dream them. The hard work you make will ha um, makes those dreams happen. Have fun in life. Life is a full of opportunities. Don't limit yourself. Go to the school of your dreams. Get that job. Buy that plane ticket. Move to the city. Take opportunities and don't look back and think, what if I did? Make those dreams into plans. As you start your journey, the first thing you should do is throw away the store-bought map and begin to draw your own. And lastly, tell your mom you love her. Love you, Lee. Now, none of these words are my own words. None of this is my personal advice to these graduates. Instead, this is the advice to themselves. I know you guys are nervous for the next years to come and the fear of the unknown, but you just prove to yourself that not only are you prepared for the world, but you're prepared for everything you are going to face and everything that stands in your way. But really, the only thing that can stand in your way is yourself. And also, the only thing that can help you move past that is you. If you ever feel like you don't know what to do, look back and remember the words you told others on this very day, May 20th, 2018. 
a day where every single one of you has proven to the world that you are to be taken seriously, that you can hold your own, and that you belong in this seat. And mostly, remind yourself to do what is most often failed to do. Take your own advice. And lastly, I would like to leave you with a quote from the movie Up. Thank you for the adventure. Now go make your own. The time has come for us to cross the stage and be presented with our diplomas. It is a Brandon Valley High School graduation tradition to have fun at graduation to celebrate the accomplishments of the graduates. All of you are encouraged to cheer, whistle, sound a blowhorn, or whatever your family does to celebrate. All we ask is that after your graduate has received their diploma, that you let the next family have the opportunity to celebrate their graduate in their own style. Dr. Larson, members of the school board, Dr. Tailcott, Mr. Schleckaway, Mr. Barso, members of the district staff, family, and friends, we have met the requirements set forth by the state of South Dakota and the Brandon Valley School District and ask your permission to take the stage one last time as BVHS students. James Ossing. Gracie Adams, graduating with high honors. Kaylin Eichley. Rache Allen. Zachary Anderson. Aubrey Andrews. McLean Archer, graduating with highest honors. Caitlin Arlt. Chloe Oskdahl, graduating with honors. Samuel Alk. Ryan Backer. Caitlin Banworth. Cassidy Becker. Katie Bennigan, graduating with highest honors. Grace Bennett, graduating with high honors. Isaac Birch. Michaela Byron. 
Irath. Barbie Bishop LaFrance. Ty Blair. Dylan Blum, graduating with high honors. Darian Blue. Allison Borhave, graduating with highest honors. Hunter Brady, graduating with honors. Elizabeth Braley, graduating with honors. Grace Britton. Hannah Bellato. Faith Birch, graduating with highest honors. Curtis Callahan. Ronald Carlson. Ty Carone. Erica Christofferson. Brittany Shalewski. Sydney Cloutier. Christine Colby. Emma Colby. Taylor Dolly. Trevor Dean. Caden Deckert. Brady DeYoung. Jalen DeSmith. Hannah DeVille. Joshua Donahoe, graduating with high honors. Autumn Driscoll. Elizabeth Duncan, graduating with highest honors. Kaylee Duncanson, graduating with highest honors. Cheyenne Dutson. Cole Ebright. Marshall Elkin. Grant Ellis, graduating with high honors. Lacey 
Elsnick. Austin Erickson. Tess Erickson, graduating with honors. Andrew Erconen. Alyssa Fick, graduating with highest honors. Nathan Fleming. Preston Flory. Bailey Franz. Madison Fry, graduating with highest honors. Kelsey Frost, graduating with highest honors. James Garrett, graduating with highest honors. William Garrett. Freya Gakin, graduating with honors. Kevin Gillespie. Amanda Jingles. Sarah Gurton. Caitlin Glagey, graduating with highest honor. Derek Gonseth. Abigail Green. William Gunderson, graduating with highest honors. Mitchell Gusso. Braden Harris. Megan Harry, graduating with honors. Kyle Heidbrink. Brooke Heinen. Valerie Heinrichs. Veronica Heinrichs. <laughs> Hannah Hendrick. <laughs> Loretta Hernandez. Thuha Ho, graduating with high honors. Mackenzie Hochhalter, graduating with highest honors. Hannah Hofer. Benjamin Hoffman.
Noah Holm. Elizabeth Holmes, graduating with highest honors. Michael Holtz, graduating with high honors. Sierra Hovde. Maxwell Howard. Trey Hubers. Rain Hutman Larson. Trevor Iverson. Hannah Jarowski. Cole Jensen. Cody John, graduating with honors. Megan John. Alex Johnson. Caitlin Johnson. Jacob Johnson, graduating with high honors. Jordan Johnson. <laughs> Mac Johnson. <laughs> Tessa Johnson. Caitlin Jones. <laughs> JC Jonas. Maya Yonke. Tristan Yonke. Ryan Kaler. George Kellogg. <laughs> Dustin Kimner, graduating with highest honors. Bayul Cassette. <laughs> Keiston Keelman. <laughs> Tyler Kilgore. Jesse Kilpatrick. Okay. 
Jacob King. Jaden King. Creighton Clinkhammer. Felicity Clinkhammer graduating with highest honors. Anthony Kleiner. <laughs> Emily Naus, graduating with highest honors. Intisar Koch, graduating with highest honors. William Cruz Jonas Colzer graduating with honors Maggie Lacey. <laughs> Mallory Lacey, graduating with high honors. Blake Larson. Jason Larson. Raya Larson, graduating with honors. Dylan Lata Revich. Madison Lee, graduating with highest honors. Ethan Leash. Kenzie Leonard, graduating with high honors. Brian Lewis. Shelby Lynn, graduating with high honors. Gracie Lubers. Nicholas Lundstra. <laughs> Bethany Malsum, graduating with highest honors. Grace Malsum, graduating with high honors. Colin Mangold. <laughs> Shaylee Marshall. <laughs> Courtney Martins, graduating with highest honors.
Samantha Martin. Alexander Miller, graduating with honors. Jacob Miller. Jason Mills. Jarrett Mixel. Nicholas Moeller. Tatum Mork. Taylor Mullet. Tyler Mush. Tatum Musser. Nathan Muchiknaus. Hunter Myers. Yo Nadu. Riley Nettestead, graduating with highest honors. Taylor Newton. Tyson Newton. Chase Nielsen. Adam Niesink. Sydney Nifong. Logan Knowles. Amanda Odie. Morgan Palmer, graduating with highest honors. Jacob Paulson. Madison Paulson. Nicholas Perkinson. Monique Peters. Braden Peterson, graduating with honors. Kylie Pickering.
Green, graduating with highest honors. Logan Ping. Brianna Plastow. Owen Postma. Annika Potratz, graduating with highest honors. Sydney, Sydney Potterbaum, graduating with highest honors. Skylar Ray. Thomas Redford, graduating with highest honors. Taylor Reich. <laughs> Kiara Rentschler. <laughs> Megan Risen. Emily Roberts. Amaya Robinson. Peyton Resch. Evan Rosenbaum. Carson Robotham. Gage Ruhlman. Mason Rustin. Avery Sage, graduating with highest honors. Dawson Scott. Mariah Schiltz. Lindsay Schobert. Lucas Schobert. <laughs> Abigail Schwartz. Fatim Sisiko. Austin Scow. Kelsey 
Kelsey Smedsrud. Mackenzie Smith. Braden Sorensen. Lakin Sorensen. Sam Spicer. Madison Stamp. Ariana Stanger. Haley Stangle, graduating with highest honors. Megan Stetnicks, graduating with highest honors. Samuel Stoltenberg, graduating with highest honors. Weston Strubel. Cade Tervier. Kiana Thielen, graduating with highest honors. Kiana Thiesenwitz. Brooke Tolke. Kane Tigner. Paige Timmons. Jada Cheddar, graduating with highest honors. Mason Bolland. Reed Vandentop. Reese Vandentop. Tessa Vandentop, graduating with high honors. Micah Van Hemert, graduating with high honors. Lauren Van Regenmorter, graduating with honors. Kennedy Vandemore. Kara Vanderbeek, graduating with high honors. Mason Van Weston. Brooklyn Vermeer. Jonna Vidal. Natalie Wagley, graduating with highest honors. Nicholas Wagley. Brian Waller. Christina Waller, graduating with highest honors.
Henry Washnock. Haley Waterfall. Riley Webb, graduating with high honors. Trevor Weber. Callie Weather, graduating with high honors. Charlie Weiss. Max Wilde, graduating with highest honors. Trayton Williams. Tiana Wilson. Michaela Wise. Caitlin Withy. Ashley Wolf. Alan Wright, graduating with honors. Shanley Zahn. How about one more round of applause for all of them? Don't worry, those of you who've seen me before, I promise to be brief. It's a promise I've broken many times. Okay, um, my name is Greg Talcott, and I have the great privilege um, and honor to be the principal of the high school and to have spent uh, four years with these kids along with some amazing um, staff members uh, in this school district. And so um, I would like to do something. If you're an alumni of ours, would you please stand up that would include all of you guys, because you just graduated. Stand on up. Stand on up. Yeah, we want to say welcome home. We're glad you're back. Thank you for coming today. Now sit down. <laughs> cool. That's really cool. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about this class. Um, we do have a right to be proud. And I know that Thomas talked about, he's right. There are times to be proud. This is a time to be proud. This is a great group of kids. It goes well beyond their grade point average. It goes well beyond their achievements on the field or on the stage. It is much more about who they are as people. And so it's a, it's a happy day for us, and it's a sad day for us. Yeah? I think parents sometimes we feel the same way. We are really going to look back and enjoy these four years, but it is really hard to, uh, to get rid of you. Look at that. There's got a screen. Cool. Um, this class will be remembered here for a long time because of the leadership that they have provided to those classes, like Thomas talked about, the underclassmen. The things that you did, starting with the very first days of school, that you would come and that you would spend a day with our freshmen and do a senior freshman unity day. The fact that many of you would choose to wear that goofy t-shirt we gave you the first couple of days of school in case a freshman or a new student was lost and you could help them find their way. And all of the ways that you led all of the teams and all of the activities along the way. Maybe like Thomas, getting a little bit of a cult following. Who knows? I don't know. But you're a special group. And we're going to miss you. 
But it wouldn't be fair to let you leave school without homework, so we have homework. And I've been doing this for years, but I want you to understand, like your friends talked about on stage, you didn't get here by yourself. You got here because you had some great assistance along the way. So I'm going to task you with three voluntary homework assignments. You'll do them if you choose, or if not, they are ungraded. You'll complete them when you choose to, if you choose to. Today you are surrounded <clears throat> by staff members. We have Ann Beasley, first grade, retiring. Yes, please. We have Deb Cressock, high school English and Spanish, retiring. And we have the one and only Patrick Donnellan. And maybe we have a few other retirees, but I just wanted to point that out. Here's what I know. They made it happen. They helped you. They pushed you. They did all sorts of things, whatever it was. And you know what? Some days you're a pain. Right, parents? Oh, amen. I got an amen up there. That's great. Wow. I haven't got one of those before. Um, And maybe a little note of appreciation to your teacher or the cook or the bus driver, you remember, um, will help them down the line when they have some other tough days because some other kids that follow. Yeah? In this room, for some of you are some very, very close friends. Don't text them. Don't Instagram them. Don't Snapchat them. Write them a note. You will part ways. You will go, some of you, across an ocean to serve this country. Some of you will simply go across town to work, but you'll start to separate. And having that thing in your hands, that tangible note from that friend, is worth the time. And if you write that note, it's going to force you to reflect on what they mean to you and how valuable that friendship is. I encourage you, do the homework assignment. Take time. There's also one other very important group, um, your parents and your family, but most particularly your parents. Many of you know this story, but a few years ago, um, <clears throat> both of my parents have, have passed away. And a few years ago, I was, uh, after my mother passed, I was going through all of the papers and all of the things that you're supposed to do when you're settling the estate and so forth. Um, and I came across a letter that I wrote my mother in her safe. There wasn't a will in the safe. There wasn't any money in the safe. Um, but what there was in the safe was cards and letters from her children and her grandchildren. I wrote this letter in 1977. My mother passed over 35 years later, and she still had the letter. If you don't think that a letter to your parents will mean anything to you, it will. Last year, I'm laying in bed, and I'm like, what is that uncomfortable feeling? What is that? And I rolled over. And there was a letter from a boy who goes to Augie now. He slid it in my bed before he left to go to Augie. I hope he finds it 35 years from now when he's going through my stuff. Or maybe 25, who knows, whatever. <laughs> yeah? It matters, folks. It means something. It's a voluntary assignment. But I really encourage you to do it. Think about what those people have meant to you. Congratulations. I have one last gift for you. Um, there's a song, Cyborg Prophets, my favorite group ever, and none of you have got them on your iPod, I know. Do you even have iPods? You don't have that. Anyway. <laughs> this is a four-minute 
video about you and your friends. Paul, thank you, Paul Burnt and Kevin Brick, for your help. Please. I can see it in your eyes that you are restless. The time has come for you to leave. It's so hard to let you go. But in this life I know you have to be who you were made to be. As you step out on the road, I'll say a prayer. So that in my heart, you always will be there. This is not goodbye. I know we'll meet again. So let your life begin. Cause this is not goodbye. It's just I love you to take with you until you're Should you stay or turn around? Well, just remember that your dreams, they are a promise That you were made to change the world So don't let fear stop you now Cause this is not goodbye I know we'll meet again So let your life begin Take with you and seal your home again. Oh, I know the brightest star above was created by the one who loved more than we'll ever know to guide you when you're lost. What started as a still small voice is raging now, and your only choice is to find. Thank you. God bless you. Good luck. We have a tradition. There's a way we do things here. And we finish things the way we start things. So if we can do the BV cheer, it's time. Let's go. If you're new to us, just sit back and enjoy. Go ahead.
There's going to be a huge crowd out in the commons. If you wish to avoid the commons and you parked here, you can go out these doors. You can go through our community room out to that parking lot. If you want to go out in the commons and hug like crazy, go ahead. Thank you for coming.